Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for the 17th of August 2020 and the reading is for the sign of Sagittarius. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels right with you, and just leave the rest of it aside. If it does not feel right with you, then it most likely is not meant for you. That being said, if ever you would like to have your own reading, so a reading that is all about you, a reading to find your answers, to find your guidance, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. If you go into the YouTube drop box, you will find all the necessary information. So you'll find the different types of readings. You will also find um, the price list and how to go upon to do a booking. So if you're interested in a reading, please do verify the YouTube Dropbox. Also, if you uh, do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support, show your encouragement to myself and to uh, the channel. And it would be greatly appreciated. So I do thank you so very much. And with no further ado, let's begin this reading. So this reading here is all about should I stay or should I go? Now. Um, I'm using here the Angel Oracles and I also have the Romance Oracles. So let's just turn these over and see what kind of message I can get for you. So I have a year from now, the situation will improve. Yes, look for a sign. I have finance and career, playfulness, true love, and chemistry. So I'm going to do like I did with all the other signs. If you want your answer, I'll give it to you right away. So your answer is right here. It could not be any more clear. The answer is yes. Yes, you should stay. There is going to be challenges, but yes, you should stay. Okay, so I do have here um, in a year from now. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but you know, not everything is, is done just by clicking our fingers. So yes, in about a year from now, these problems should be all behind you and things should be nice and dandy. Things should be back to a nice and joyful and... Um, and a harmonious type of relationship. But there is going to be some challenges that are going to go through for the next year. Um, so yes, but that being said, you know, uh, yes, the situation is going to improve, but you need to look for a sign. Now, when I talk about a sign, sometimes we say, oh, look, what a coincidence. No, there are no coincidences. They do not exist. A coincidence is simply a sign that is given to you by the universe to do something with it. But since we often say, look at the coincidence, and we do nothing about it, but we just say, oh, look at the coincidence, nothing is really done. So it becomes really difficult for the universe or for anybody to try and give us some signs if we um if we don't listen if we don't listen to them if we don't think they're really signs or even in your intuition if you do get a sign in your intuition if you're not listening to it if you don't listen carefully you don't take a little bit of time by yourself any once in a while you're just going to miss it and you're just not going to get that message so it's really really important for you to take a little bit of time by yourself do a little bit of meditation if you're not into meditation just you know Go by yourself, put some earphones on, listen to some music, do something that makes you relax, something that makes you happy, and just try and think about nothing. And then you're going to tap into that intuition and you're going to try and get some of that information, some of that deep down inside, that, that sign, that information that it is that you're looking for. So that's very, very important. That being said, um, there is, you know, great chemistry within the relationship here. And this, I do see it. There's a strong magnetic attraction. That is perfect. No problem there. I also see the card of true love. So, you know, this is the romance of a lifetime. And you don't want to let go of a romance of a lifetime now. So please, please, please don't let go. Keep on going, okay? Situation is going to improve in a year from now. But listen to the signs. Listen to your intuition. Um, I do have a card here of playfulness. Now, the playfulness here is giving me a message that you do have to add in maybe some a little bit more joy into this relationship you need to add in some change some switch up so this is to recapture the romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so be yourself at 100 percent forget about all the boundaries forget about the limitations just be you be your fun silly you be who your partner met you know, and who they fell in love with, be yourself. Forget about all the other problems that you do have, just be yourself. Have some fun, go out, do something. I know it's a little bit more difficult with our 
our, our uh, world pandemic situation here, but please do. Uh, do as best as you can. There are a lot of things that are open now since a little while, so please do go out. Uh, if it is, go to the restaurant, go to the movies, go to the park, um, go on a little weekend getaway for two days. That's very possible. So, you know, just do something. Have fun and nothing else. No strings attached. And that's going to help the relationship a lot. You're going to bring a bunch of positiveness into your relationship. And with all that positivity that you're going to be bringing in, you're going to bring in all those new joys, all those new memories, and that's just going to, you know, make other things in your relationship just, just flourish. So very, very important. I do see here, though, that there is a little issue with um, finance and career. So this is really financial issues are a factor in your love right now. So um, you do need to be careful about that to try and separate whatever is love and whatever is romance. I know that they often go together. They often intermingle. And it's really, really, really difficult to, you know, separate both. But it's really important to try and do so as much as possible. If both partners are doing their very best in this situation, then, you know, there's not much more that you can do right now. So, you know, sometimes it's just a question of a phase. It's just something that's going to pass by. Um, if you can't, you know, do anything about it, maybe search elsewhere. Also, there are some people who do take care of these type of, of issues and who can help you out an awful lot so that it doesn't seem like a heavy burden anymore. So, you know, these are all different options. So maybe just sit down, communicate, talk about it, put down on a piece of paper everything that you should do, what you, and you know, just try and follow that and you'll see it should go quite well. So this really is the end of the, of the not the relationship, but of their reading. The relationship is quite fine. So that being said, um, I do wish you, you know, many, many blessings. Um, I hope I was able to give you a little bit of uh, information, a little bit of messages, a little bit of hope. Um, if you do have any questions on your personal relationship, you would like to have some guidance, romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe. And I thank you so very much for your time, your patience, and your support. Have a great day.